everyone how is it going how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing fantastic if this is your first time checking out truly divine's channel what is up i'm amy if you're returning welcome back guys so this is your divine masculine message to you guys today so let's just get started definitely a great message so literally the first message that's coming through um for me says baby i miss you all right, so your divine masculine is definitely in a place where I definitely feel like he's feeling through his feelings right now. He definitely misses you. He definitely is thinking about you. He's definitely, um, I feel like he's figuring things out for the most part. It's, um, I know it's difficult, guys, and I, I, I can relate so much to how you guys are feeling right now. The fact that most of you have been on this journey for so long and, you know, this journey is not for everyone. It's really not. It requires patience. It requires um, just so much, so much of you. And I, I feel like sometimes it's like the same thing, right? Like it's just over and over. But um, I, I do feel like he generally loves you. I do feel like he generally misses you. Um, and that's definitely coming out. He's saying like, you have my heart. I don't want you to forget that. I don't want you to think that because we're not in union or we're not together that, you know, you don't have a special place in my heart because I feel like you, you will always have that special place in my heart. Um, I know on some level, especially for the most of you who have been on this journey for so long that it feels like your divine counterpart has forgotten about you, but he's literally saying that today, like, I have not forgotten about you, even though you think I have, you know? So there could have been moments of doubts within you, and he just wants you to know today that wherever you are, like, he has not forgotten about you. You are ne never far from his mind. He's always thinking about you. He wants to make things right one day, and I feel like, um, even though this is such a long cycle and such a long time frame, um, the twin flame has no time frame for me. It's just everything is divine timing. Everything is going to happen the way that it's supposed to happen. We not might necessarily have to agree with that, but that's that's it, right? Like we have choices and options to stay or to move on. Um, but he's just saying like, no matter where I am, you're always on my mind. No matter what I'm doing, you're always on my mind, but I do need some more time. I do need time to think about this. I want to make this right. You know, I'm at a point in my life right now where I've, I'm just afraid to take the next level. You know, I'm afraid to, to hurt you. I'm afraid to get rejected. Like these are things that I'm hearing, but you know, being with you feels so right. Being with you feels so comfortable. It's kind of like, you know, you are his best friend. You are his me. Like I, I, I just feel like there's such a strong magnetic connection there. And he's, he's really coming through and he's saying like, I know being with you, I'm not going to find that elsewhere, but I do on some level feel so undeserving of you. And I feel like this has to do like inner childhood trauma where something has happened to him and that could be, or something he has witnessed, or, you know, maybe he's not accustomed to relationships the way that you think he should be accustomed to, but he feels so undeserving of you, but you make him feel alive. You make him feel different and it's a good different. It's kind of like you make him see the world in a different atmosphere in a different place and he's saying like there's so much more i want to tell you and one of those things is that he does have plans to marry you one day he knows that he is going to marry you that's not um the issue the issue is how does he come forward and and get past that fear get past that ego get past you know what i mean to be able to speak to you to be able to get what he needs to get off his chest to be able to feel comfortable and not scared we have cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting yeah like i feel like he's coming forward you know i feel like he he does love you and it's about this journey is about faith it's about trusting it's about you know just keep moving forward you know if, if you're in a place and i know a lot of you are because you've been with me for a long time now um where 
it feels so frustrating because it's like you get 10 steps ahead and then you feel like you're being backtracked 10 steps and spirit is like saying you know i know that it feels that way but you have to understand that your twin comes in to teach you something they come in to help you grow you know it's not a lot of people don't understand that the twin flame journey is not a soulmate journey your twin is not your soulmate your your twin is the person who's coming in to help you grow to give you lessons to give you growth and then they don't necessarily stay all the time they're usually in and out um a soulmate is, is different. A soulmate stays, right? But a twin flame is here to teach you something. And a lot of people don't understand that part of the journey. And that's why the connection is so hard. And that's why um, it, it's so hard to, to be on this journey. Because people are like, I don't understand why he's so hot and cold. Why he won't let me in. Why he won't let me love him, right? Um, it's all about timing all about timing but the love is here the love is coming spirit is saying for those who are willing to to put in the work for the ones that are willing to work through the growth and work through the lessons and the ones that are willing to have that patience and know that divine timing is at play in this connection or your connection this is going to be the people that make it to union um, the Grim Reaper. For some of you, it says the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. So for me, his message is that he is not ready yet. He is not ready to change. He's not ready to commit. He's not ready to come into union. So he's literally saying, like, I'm growing over here. I'm going through my obstacles. I'm going through my challenges. And I want you to be able to do that, too. I want you to be able to have that, to be able to work through your life right now um work through your obstacles um for some of you that's not for all of you though it's because wedding rings here another wedding you know union wedding married soul connection internal love everlasting promise there is going to be some type of you know gathering or some type of like where i feel for some of you it's going to be very unexpected this engagement this wedding like it just it feels like everything is just going to come off fast for some of you um but this is a soul connection and your twin knows that he could be healing from something healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationship or addiction you know wearing a mask not really showing you who they are pretending gaslighting um they're hiding they're like they're just hiding who they are they're hiding yeah um not today i i just feel like you know if, if you're waiting for them to contact you it probably won't be today um some of your divine masculines right now are avoiding a conversation they're they're still working through their boundaries they could still be angry about how you guys disconnected the snake card is here as well so he could be dealing with the other woman he could be dealing with an m &E, or there could be some competition happening in this connection but you guys are ascending ultimately right and that's where we want to go we want to ascend through this new phrase through this new obstacle so that we can prepare for union so that when you two come together you're not coming in with all of that extra baggage Soulmates, yeah, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract, right? So he he knows that this is like a soul connect, like a soul connection. You know, it, it's not that he doesn't care. It's not that he doesn't love you. He knows that this is a connection, a soul connection. You guys are definitely mirroring each other right now. Reflecting old wounds, relationships, hammer. Yeah, I feel like at times he has like sabotaged this relationship or even you at some level have sabotaged that this connection but he's sending you unconditional kisses he's sending you love you know he wants to fall back in love with you that's kind of what i'm hearing all right so let's get these ones and then we'll wrap it up guys so it says i never meant to reject you my heart was saying yes but the fear was too overwhelming yeah I didn't see this I didn't see the truth about this connection. I was blindfolded. Now I finally realize that it's you. It's always you. You're the one. Yeah. So about three cards now stating that he knows that you're the one. He knows that he wants to marry you. I am running and hiding because I just can't handle the truth right now. I'd rather just pretend and just go with what feels easy and comfortable. I'm not ready to change just yet. Yeah. 
I want to take care of you, but I can't right now because of money problems. I feel weak and lack confidence. I can't be what you need. Yeah, so money could be a blockage. Money issues could be a blockage, right? He could be wanting to build up his financial security or his financial um, stability. He could want stability in his relationship and his connection before he is able to move forward. I feel like he's a very hardworking person and like... He just doesn't want you to have to worry about things that you shouldn't have to worry about. And I feel like that could be a major blockage going on within your connection. All right, guys. So hopefully this message helps you guys. Hopefully it was heard. Please like, please subscribe. Please drop it in the comments. Let me know how it resonates, how it works with your connection. And with that, love and light. I'll talk to you soon.